Hi Year 4, it's Kelly from Brawlstone. Hope you're well and staying active at home. Hope you've been enjoying the PE challenges so far. This week's PE challenge, week 5, we are going to be working on the sport athletics and our activity this week is the standing long jump. Now we're going to break it down into three levels for you. So an easy level, level a medium level and a hard level. Level one, we're just going to work on our technique. So we're going to have our legs shoulder width apart. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to bring our arms backwards. So we're in like a skiing position. And then all I'm going to do is swing my arms forwards, bend it, pushing off my toes and landing on two feet, making sure I keep my head up. So here goes. So that's all we're going to do for level one. So practice your technique for one minute and then we're going to have a competition on level two. Right, level two. We're going to work on our technique. We're going to do the competition on level three. Okay, so I'm standing a little bit further back this time, but technique the same. So legs should width for part, arms in a skiing position ready to jump, knees slightly bent. But this time, we're going to practice rocking onto our toes. So this is going to help us get speed and momentum and help us jump further. Okay? So you're rocking onto your toes, back onto your heels. Your arms are going forwards when you go onto your toes, and your arms go backwards when you go onto your heels. So you're going to go one, two, three, and jump. Okay? Give that a go, and then we're going to have the competition on level three. Level three, this time we're going to have a little competition. So we need a marker, so I've got a pair of socks, so I can mark how far my jump is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that in my hand, so I can jump with it, get into my jumping position. So remember, knees bent, shoulder width apart, Arms forwards, head up, rocking onto our toes. So on three, I'm going to jump. One, two, three. And wherever I've landed, I'm going to put my marker behind my foot because we always measure from the back of our foot. Now, if you've got a tape measure, you can measure how far you've jumped from or you can do it in steps. So one, two, three. I'm going to leave that marker there. I'm just going to push it to the side a little bit. Now I'm going to see if I can beat my jump using my technique. So I'm going to see if I can beat it this time using my rocking technique. Two, three. Oh, I beat it a little bit. So now I can move my marker forward. One minute, see if you can beat your marker. Count how far you've jumped. So measure the distance you've jumped. Good luck, have fun. Bye everyone, and I will see you next week.